Hey guys, in this video I'm going to explain to you how you can connect a Bulnox to a Ninja Trader, guys. And it's really easy and simple, guys. So what you want to be doing first is, of course, let me show you. So first things first, of course, download Ninja Trader desktop. And then what you want to do is you want to en enable a multi-provider. Okay, so this is how you do it, guys. So before you can actually connect to your valuation service account on a Ninja Trader desktop, you need to enable this option. So go to your settings in the control center, click on tools, click on options window. So you'll find this right here. You'll see this option that says multi provider. You want to go ahead and check this check mark. Click on apply, click on OK. Then what you want to do, guys, you want to go ahead and connect to a rhythmic account connection. So this is how you create your connection. You come here, click on connections. OK, click on configure right here on the control center connections drop down click on configure then next guys you'll see all these options you want to come here and choose this option right here that says rhythmic for a ninja trader brokerage all right so right here guys what you're going to do is you're going to click on the add button and then you want to enter your rhythmic username and password that you will receive from your evaluation service provider on the right hand side for example here put in your username put in your password and then if your specific provider is not listed in the system drop down, what you can do is you can select a rhythmic paper trading system. Okay. And set it to your nearest location. And then guys, what you can do is you can go ahead and press OK to finish configuring your right here, your rhythmic uh, for Ninja Trader brokerage connection. And finally, go back to Control Center, go to Connections. And then what you can do is you can click on your new rhythmic uh, connections name and a green light will basically appear next to the connections name and at the bottom left of the control center when the connection is actually successful. So I hope this video helped you out guys. And if it did provide any value for you guys, consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing to find a solution. I'll see you in the next one.